Let's go through some additional Modbus traffic and see what we see. We see some traffic here that should look very familiar to you, these three lines here. We see a sin, a sin act, and an act. And it's all on traffic with destination or source of port 502, which we know is Modbus. So we know this is probably the beginning of a communications transmission. We also see in this line here force listen only mode. So this is a Modbus TCP function where the PLC or the Modbus device is being forced to be listen only. So this is read only mode. It also looks like there's some diagnostics being run in here as well. There's also a restart in this line, a restart communications option. It looks like it's starting to be formed there as well. Some additional diagnostics. This could be the beginning of a startup on a PLC or other type of Modbus device. As we look down further in here, it also looks like uh, uh, they're clearing counter and diagnostic registers. It really is starting to look like it's the startup of a device. We go a little further down and there's additional communications being formed here. Um, the Synax and uh, Syn, Synact and Act. Reading device identification function. Reporting slave ID. So we know that this device is a slave most likely to a master. Uh, could be a SCADA system that's acting as a, as a master or it could be another PLC uh, acting as a master. And then we start seeing functions like read coil. And by the way, coil is a leftover term from the days of where it was relay, which I talked about in the slides. Uh, the relay had a coil. I showed a picture of it in the slides. The coil was actuated with a, with a voltage, which caused uh, the current to flow on the low voltage side. It pulled the, the uh, bar down to allow the flow the low voltage to flow. So that coil term, coils term is left over from the old relay days. And I should say relays are still around today and you can use actually use PLCs to actuate relays. Some more functions writing single coils. And again, you will see this transmissions um, um, show up in the interpretation within the PCAP, within Wireshark. We go further down, we see some TCP traffic. We also start seeing some exception returns. And I believe we see this unknown function. This unknown function could be indicative of malicious activity, so it's something to watch out for. And that's all we have on this particular PCAP.